it. <laughs> Hello, um, welcome to the video. I uh, it's the it's the Fourth of July. What the police gonna do? Uh, the police right there. No, um, I since it's the Fourth of July, I made a little poem uh, to really, you know, embody the American values, uh, the American spirit, uh, in honor of the great U.S. of A. Um, so yeah, I got it down here on my phone. I know I write poems on my phone. I'm a hack, uh, but you know, fuck you. Okay, here we go. I'm proud to live in the great United States, and I'm happy to tell you why on this most important of dates. The day our founding fathers proclaimed this land free and proceeded to build it on the backs of generations of slavery. But I'll always remember the generations of drilling oil and mining coal who afforded me the freedom to sit down at 6.30 and watch the Super Bowl. But before watching the game, I'm proud to salute the flag and tear down those rainbows by the oppressive fag. I'll pledge my existence to that red, white, and blue because I know this is the greatest country on earth, and so do you. Afterwards, I'll check in with Jesus, my holy lord, Christian and white, and pray he keeps those blacks and those Jews out of my darn sight. This country belongs to Americans. How'd those Africans even get here? We true Americans rightfully manifested our destiny on this country we hold dear. And I don't like them other folk taking advantage of our country. They're like a disease. In the meantime, I'll decide whether I want to eat Mexican, pizzas, or Chinese. But I'll probably go for some good old McDonald's. The drive is never far. The only difficult part is fitting into my ever-shrinking car. You might say we're not just the greatest, but the biggest and better than all yous. You might learn a thing or two from our American virtues and values. Values like raping our daughters and cousins just for funds, and then repealing abortion laws so we'll have another great generation of American sons. But no sex before marriage, that's the rule. That way we'll only have to learn about abstention in school. Yeah, let those teachers work minimum wage, we barely need them. I pay my taxes for the guns keeping this country safe and the men who wield them. Why do we need health care with our great majestic military to defend, along with the right to carry to protect ourselves from too big a government? Cause we love our guns and think everyone should be having them. But what oh what can we do to stop these cool shootings happening? Well nothing if it means taking my guns away, you see. Just think of those kids running as an extra hour of P.E. Yeah, we love our amendments and you best leave them be. Besides maybe that unlucky number, 13. This is America, dag nabbit, the land of the free. Where with the right amount of money I can make you belong to me. Cause by now we know capitalism is the way to go. And if I stay poor, it's because the Lord wills it so. It's all part of the American dream. Life is prosperous and fair. Here, anyone can work under the generous care of the billionaire. And crippling college debt is just simply a part of life that you have to chisel away at by working that 9 to 5. Well, I filled you in on my thoughts and now that I told you the latest, I hope you understand. But out of all 15 countries, America is the greatest. And see? Okay. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so that was uh, a poem about, uh, I, it was, I hope I don't have to explain, that was satire, I, I don't actually think, I'm not American, uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, Bel I'm from Belgium, though we've had our own share of, well, anyway, I, I'm, I'm Bel, I don't, I guess I'm part Dutch, and like the Dutch colonized um, America in, in its early stages, but like, I don't, I don't need to explain. You probably it's satire. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's it. Bye. Don't you just love hay fever? Okay.